Hey everybody, Tony Bonvecchio here for another Technique Tuesday at Cressy Sports Performance. Last week we talked about the bench press. This week we're going to talk about the overhead press, how to use it to drive your bench press, and a couple of mistakes you want to avoid when using it in your training. Now the first common mistake you see with the overhead press is the setup position and where the elbows are. Now if you're used to Olympic lifting, if you're doing uh, power cleans, you may see people hold the bar in the front rack even for like a uh, front squat and people will often try to overhead press from here. Big mistake if you're trying to press maximum weight and build up your bench press. In this case you want to take a full grip on the bar, get your forearms vertical and keep them directly under the bar so that as you go to press up those elbows and wrists stay directly under the bar the whole time. If you roll those elbows forward you're going to have a really tough time in that bottom position. Second mistake is overarching the lower back as you go to press. We know that the anterior core helps a lot to stabilize the hips and in turn stabilize the shoulders. So you want to pull those ribs down, squeeze your butt tight, and keep everything in line as you go to press, not allowing your back to arch too much. Third mistake, pushing the head forward too far. Common cue for the overhead press on the lockout is to throw your head through the window. While that will make the lockout easier, it's going to put undue stress on your shoulders and your neck, probably a little bit overkill. Instead of pushing your head through that much, push your head through just enough to finish with that bar over your shoulders, and you can even try to push your scaps up towards the ceiling to finish that lockout. So the difference is just from here to here. So if you can avoid those three overhead press mistakes, it's a great exercise to build up your bench press and improve your shoulder strength.